So today I'm going to make this lamb stew with tomatoes, cumin, chickpeas, vegetables, garlic. Does it take ages? Yeah, it takes a long time to cook this one. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Welcome back to How To Cook Great. So we're gonna get started by going straight in here. So in there, I've got three tablespoons of oil. I'm using olive oil. And here, I've got 500 grams or about a pound of lamb. There's a little bit of bone in there, a little bit of fat. This is a leg cut. We're on an above medium heat. And we're gonna cook this for around six or seven minutes. I'll see you then. Okay, so you can see that we've got some nice color on there. Now the next step is I'm gonna add some stock. You can use stock or water if you want. Let me just get grab this here. I've got some uh, chicken stock here actually. You can use a beef stock or something. There's a couple of pints there maybe, enough to sort of cover it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to boil this out. Okay, so we're going to keep it on a medium heat and we're going to go for about 20 minutes now. I want this to be really, really super tender. Okay, so we've been going for about 15, 20 minutes. It's reduced down enormously. And in that time, we've really given this lamb a fantastic head start and it's going to be nice and tender. What I'm gonna do now is turn off the heat. I'm gonna drain the stock out and keep it and go back in with a dry pan with the meat. But first, let me show you some other ingredients. So what I've got here is some carrots. And this is quite carrot heavy. You don't have to put that many in if you don't want, but I like it like that. We've got about three cups there, cut that into nice chunky fingers. We've got two cups there of cooked chickpeas. There's two tomatoes there, decent sized tomato, fresh tomatoes, two cups of zucchini or courgette or kusa, whatever you call that. Cut that in a similar fashion, but shorter than the carrots. I've got 100 grams there of tomato paste, one cup of onion, one tablespoon of garlic, and there I've got three teaspoons of cumin. We're gonna add some salt and pepper. Let's get back to the cooker and get this moving. So we're back on on an above medium heat. I've drained off the excess liquid. We're now gonna go in with one cup of onion, one tablespoon of chopped garlic, salt and pepper, About four minutes, stirring fairly often. So I'm now gonna go in with all of those carrots. And like I say, this is quite carrot heavy, but that's how I wanna do it. You can reduce them down if you want. And once again, another four minutes on this fairly vibrant heat. Really, really, really fantastic this is. Okay, we're gonna go in with those two decent sized fresh tomatoes. We're gonna add that 100 grams or two tablespoons roughly of the tomato paste. We're gonna add the three teaspoons of cumin. We're gonna give this a mix and we're gonna go for another four minutes here. Those tomatoes are just starting to collapse a little bit. Now we're gonna add the balance of that stock that we used earlier. And a little bit of water just to top it up. Just a very small amount. Okay, I'm gonna lower the heat now. Not to a simmer, but above a simmer. And we're gonna let this go for around eight or nine minutes. Takes a while this one, but the result is incredible. 
So this is looking absolutely wonderful. It's going nice and sort of slow there. Next up, we're gonna add in the cooked chickpeas and the zucchini, courgette or kusa, whatever you wanna call that. You can get some bell peppers in here if you wanted. Give it a bit of extra color. Okay, we're gonna stay again on this kind of nice low heat and we're gonna go for about another five or six minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. Very, very nearly done. Only one more step. Okay, off goes the heat. That is fabulous. Really fabulous. I've got about half a cup here of uh, flat leaf parsley that I'm gonna run through there. You could use cilantro or coriander if you wanted. I'm gonna give that a mix and that's it, job done. Well done for still being here. It does take a while, but yeah, really delicious. And there you go, slow cooked, beautiful lamb in that lovely, deep, rich sauce. I hope that you enjoy that. Keep safe, keep well. I'll see you soon. Lots of love.